All right, another figure review. Well, all right, guys, here we go again. We have another Figma for you today. It is the EX033 exclusive Yuki Kono from Sword Art Online. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this box. Let's go ahead here. We have the top of the box with that very nice photo of her attacking uh, some monsters. And then we have the same photo on the bottom. Lovely. And then we have the left side of the box here, which is her unsheathing her sword. Really nice. All right. And then we have the right side of the box here with a lovely, lovely photo of her there showing off some hips and shoulders. That's just her costume. All right. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the back. We got a whole bunch of fun things back here to do. We got her in her generic pose. We got her extra little faces. Probably going to use that face. Really like that one on her. And then it also comes with a little fancy, fancy smancy hand thingy right here. So that her and Asuna can hold hands because they're just really good sisters. And uh, yeah, and it comes also with the uh, uh, Rosario uh, Mother's Rosario scroll to give to Asuna before she kicks the bucket. Yeah. So, all right. Now that we've done looking at the box, let's go ahead and pop her open. Well, all right, guys. Here we go. She is straight out of the package, as you can tell. She doesn't come with a whole lot, so we're going to go ahead and go through the accessories before we actually take a look at the actual figure. So, like with all Figmas, they get the Figma bag. Alright, lovely, see-through, absolutely clear. Alright, out of the way. Now, let's go ahead and point out some obvious things that I noticed. With the base that you normally get, they didn't provide that extra little hook thing that goes on to the extension uh let me let me show that really quick let me grab an extra because i have an extra happens to be aqua swimsuit edition version but they didn't provide this thingy majig this extra little piece which is kind of necessary if you're going to have wings that are detachable and this thing doesn't really arc well enough to get into the back where it's located without her head looking straight at the floor. So it's kind of stupid because you're just going to have her flying the entire time while she's in her wings instead of having her stand. And she doesn't really stand on her own very well. I tried multiple times before I started recording. But she can stand on her own. Just pointing that out. So does not come with this extra little piece here really sucks but anyways let's keep moving on so we're gonna take a look at her wings they are the black wings kind of like uh, uh, kitty toes wings uh, I'm guessing she is a uh, what was he again you have selected spring yeah that so uh, I'm not too sure if she's yeah well, anyway, I'm not too sure if she's that one, but she looks kind of like that. You know what I mean? All right, so we're done with the wings now. We're going to take a look at the smallest item right here. This is, let me move around my light a little bit, okay? We have the smallest, littlest thing for my chubby fat hands to handle here. And that is Mother Rosario Scroll that she gives to Asuna before she dies. It looks like a little burrito in my opinion. Okay. Alright. So, enough of that one. We get the bottom of the hilt. Or the, of the sword, the hilt. It's pretty nice. Let me, let me get some better, better light on there. See? Not too bad. Not too much to it. Can't really say. Ah, oh, hitting the camera. Uh, not can't really say anything about it. But uh, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. There you go. Sheen black handle. 
purple beautiful okay moving on now the little hands of Asuna and Yuki as you can tell there you go all right now next one we're gonna take a look at her faces because they are pretty nice faces she has this one where she's yelling like she's gonna cut somebody open which is not typically her face as she does ex except for when she's done it doing her mother's Rosario movement all right moving on and then we got her cheesy smile this is the typical smile that she always does so now we can see her cheesy smile absolutely pretty I probably gonna use that photo uh, that that face on her so let's go ahead and move on all right let's go ahead and take a look at her sword not much to her sword but we're gonna take a look at that right here there we go got that nice detailed work going in right there you see that the hilt is the same as the other one looks the same on both sides okay and now the actual blade really nice really clean very very precise I don't really see any bleeding or anything like that it's actually quite smooth and then this is where it pops off it is right there and you can reattach it that's so you can put it in her hand you know what I mean all right so we're done with that hands we gotta take a look at the hands always gotta take a look at the hands so we got the sword gripping hands we have her peace loving hands we have her open hands for when she's flying like a fairy and then we have her choke hold Star Wars choke hold and no that's her Rosario giving hand so lay her on her back never mind just drop it okay so let's get on to the main event well here we go like I said it did not come with this piece and by the way, this hole in the back right here, I had to stretch it. I had to stretch it real hard. That's what she said. <laughs> because this did not fit. And also, side note, that did not fit in to her hole in the back. You see that one right there? It just did not fit. All right. Had to stretch it a whole lot. So now, let's go ahead and take a look at this breathtaking darling right here. She is exquisite, and my camera is still not focusing. There we go. So, absolutely exquisite. You can see her, her uh, headband. It's got that nice little arrow look. And let me switch this. There we go. Got that nice little hair going over the top. Got the headband with the little arrows on it. The detail in this is quite spectacular and we see all these little details in her shoulder the little flap her hair does do a nice little um, movement here but you move it too much it starts to you know what I mean and then this is soft soft plastic here soft plastic soft plastic I did not get the original Yuki if you if you want to know um, this is my first time actually seeing her out of the box I don't even think I've seen an actual review of her. So, yeah. So, this is her bending. We're going to go ahead and go into articulation while we're looking at this beautiful figure. Um, I Like I said, I don't see any bleeding. Her shoulder does go up all the way. She does do a very good job of it. This is soft plastic. Also, this part of her shoulder piece is soft plastic. And she does do a nice look down, as you can tell. And then she does look up. Uh, fairly nice but it's gonna pull her uh, face off she does have some uh, diaphragm chest articulation I'm gonna put it out there but she doesn't have any hip articulation other than what she can do with her legs okay and then she her leg just goes up about that much it's not very much she does have a nice hip bend or knee bend and then she does have this thingamajigger right here and it does spin all the way around no uh, toe hinge or anything like that so she is uh, I would say under under articulated but then again it's it's not really important because she's gonna gonna be in uh, what do you call it um 
what's the word I'm looking for, inside your glass case or whatever. But there is one last thing I really want to show you other than the paintwork that they did in this. This is all soft plastic. We're going to take a look at her thigh highs. Absolutely amazing shoes and paintwork. Like they did an amazing job on this. I keep hitting the camera. I'm sorry, guys. And then take a look back around. Why did they do this? Please, can somebody tell me why? Why did they stick it up her booty? They stuck this peg up her booty. It makes no sense to me. I'm going to take this out so you guys can actually see this ginormous peg was in her booty. <laughs> Gave her a butt plug. <sighs> so very disappointed. Uh, yeah. That's the only draw, the only thing I don't really like about this figure. Love the figure. Did not like where they put that. They could have done something else. Could have done something else. Alright, so let's go ahead and get to my thoughts on the figure. Well, alright guys, as you can see, she looks absolutely amazing with Asuna. Um, they work out well. They're um, scaled appropriately to each other. They look quite amazing, as you can see. Um, you can rotate them just a little bit. They're they pretty much stay together um, if you want to have that kind of view on them uh, that's really as far as it goes um, you can always change them up give them a different look and whatever but all in all this is actually pretty pretty awesome um, she completes all of my uh, my SAO collection because I have them all now that she is here so we're going to go ahead and show you uh, all the ALO SAO figures that I currently have. So there they are, the complete set of the ALO figures. I don't know if they have any more. As far as I know, these are the only four that they released for the SAO ALO uh, series. Um, it wasn't a very long series, but you know, this is the only one that I know that they have. The only four that they have. Um, like I said, she completes it. Uh, the only drawback that I have for her is, like I said, she has that thing up her butt. Um, the part of the part of her skirt that goes up her butt. She really doesn't have a whole lot of um, articulation, and they didn't come with that extra little piece for the base or that little plug to hold the um, wings in the back um, without the without the stand uh, and the stand like I said didn't have that piece so um, a couple, few drawbacks but all in all it's a wonderful figure um, if you're able to get in the pre-order fantastic because it, it's a great figure but like I said those few very few drawbacks and uh, if you like this video, please uh, like, uh, smash that like button and um, hit that uh, subscribe button to see future content. All right, and peace.